Hello, hello. Welcome back to Crafty Crandall. Today, I have for you a book on haul video. So, I recently, at the start of, you know, the quarantine period, went through my bookshelves and reorganized them completely. And in that process, I decided that I was going to unhaul a lot of books. Now, why am I doing that? For a couple of reasons. I have many, many books that I know I am never going to read again. Uh, I liked them when I read them and I enjoyed them for the story that they told, but I don't feel like I need to retain them because honestly they're just collecting dust. So if I can give those away to a library, donate them so that someone else can enjoy them, I will feel better about that than just having them waste their times on my shelves. So I have um, many books that I'm unhauling, probably on the order of like 60 to 70 books. Now I'm only going to share 10 of them with you for this unhaul video. Uh, if for whatever reason you did want to see more of them, I can do that because I do actually still have the books. Um, I cannot donate them yet to our local library because our library is still closed. So I can't yet donate them and therefore I am just hanging on to them until such time that they open and I can donate them. <laughs> so I do still have them if you're interested in any more, but without further ado, let's get into the 10 books that I am going to share with you today that I am unhauling. The first book will come to no surprise to you if you have watched my Reading Rush reading vlogs, uh, specifically my Reading Rush wrap up. I will link it here in the cards for you. Uh, I actually DNF'd slash didn't even start this book. Uh, that is Rumors by Anna Godberson. So I had read the first book, Lux, to this series and I enjoyed it. And I started this book, Rumors, and then I DNF'd it and kind of put it back on my shelf to read something that I was a little bit more excited about. And then when I went to go back to this book as part of the reading rush, I just didn't have an interest in it. So I am unhauling this book. Uh, Lux is actually also part of that unhaul. So I'm unhauling both of these and I hope that they can, you know, go find a happy home somewhere else where the person will enjoy them more than I did. The second book that I'm unhauling is The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. Now I am a big Sarah Dessen fan. I know that that's not really like a good thing or that, I don't know. I feel like it's really looked down upon and I don't understand why. I mean, Sarah Dessen books are fun. They're fluffy, they're enjoyable to read. Yes, I agree that a lot of their plot lines are very similar. And like, if you've read one Sarah Dessen book, you've probably read them all, so to speak. But I do enjoy her characters. I love uh, Colby and her little area that she has um, kind of developed over the course of so many books. And I am still keeping a lot of my favorites. So I have Just Listen on my shelves still. Um, I have this lullaby on my shelves. And I'm actually honestly thinking about repurchasing uh, The Truth About Forever because that one is my favorite. I gave it to a friend when I graduated high school. So I don't actually still own a copy, but I would like to reread it. So I am considering repurchasing that one specific book. Um, but other than those three favorites, I am getting rid of the rest of my Sarah Dessen books because, again, I think that someone else will enjoy them more. I don't plan on rereading these specific ones, though I, I might reread the ones that I've kept, which is why I've kept them. So because I don't plan on rereading it, I am giving it away. Um, this particular one follows a girl named Emmeline. She appears to have like a per perfect scenario going on and then you know, this boy named Theo moves in and he's got a more edgy personality and the plot pursues from there. So uh, I did really enjoy this book. I have enjoyed all of Sarah Dessen books that I've read. Um, I just prefer to unhaul this one and not have it collect dust on my shelves. The third book in this unhaul is kind of along those same lines. So the third book is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. Uh, again, I did enjoy this book. I thought it was fun to read. Uh, I do not plan on continuing with this series though. I think there's a companion novel following one of the other characters maybe. I'm not honestly too sure, um, but 
I liked this book. I thought that it was kind of a fun wild ride to read about, but at the same time I just couldn't really invest myself into any of the characters. Uh, I liked the plot more than I liked the characters, and that for me just spells disaster. That means I will not reread the book again, and such is the case for this book. Uh, so I'm sure that there are other people out there who would love to read it, so I am donating this book to them to hope that you know, they'll find it and read it at the library. The next book on this unhaul is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Again, I loved this book. I thought it was very good. This book has made its rounds throughout YouTube if you are curious as to what it's about. Um, it is about this woman named Evelyn Hugo. She is uh, basically an actress and you follow her storyline as told through her own eyes and then also the storyline of the journalist who is tasked with writing her story. It is a very interesting book. It has a lot of great representation. I enjoyed it a lot when I read it. Um, I'm not sure if I gave it four or five stars, but regardless, great book, highly recommend. However, I do not plan on reading it again. This particular book actually like stayed in my brain a little bit better than most of the books that I read. Uh, I know that's terrible to say, but uh, the plot of this book did actually stick with me. So, you know, I think it's a good book. I just don't want to waste my time reading it again when I know that there are other more exciting books out there that I am more excited to read. The next book of this haul is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Now, I am a big fan of V.E. Schwab's other series, uh, the Darker Shade of Magic series. This book, however, just didn't do it for me. Uh, I read this book and I actually started... Uh, vengeful and again it's the characters man <laughs> if I don't love the characters if I am not fully attached to any of the characters if I don't care what happens to them the book just isn't a knockout for me it's not something I'm gonna want to keep and I feel fine with parting with it it's not to say I didn't enjoy this book I did enjoy this book um, I can say though that I didn't like vengeful nearly as much. I ended up DNFing it and in part that might be because I was reading the ebook but I think more so it was because I just didn't care <laughs> where the plot line was going. We introduced new characters that I just didn't care about and it hit a point where I just didn't want to continue. So I'm DNFing this or I'm unhauling this book. I did read this whole book. Uh, I'm unhauling it though because I think that someone else would enjoy it a lot more than I did and I hope that they fall in love with the characters and absolutely love them. The next book on this unhaul is Carable by Stephanie Garber. <sighs> this one hurts my heart a little bit. I loved Carable when I read it. I loved the characters. I loved the world. I thought it was so interesting. And then the ending fell flat. The ending fell flat and I just, I, I don't know, I couldn't do it. I was so mad. This book ended and I did pick up the sequel. I read the sequel. I'm unhauling that book too. And then Finale came out. I bought Finale. I was so excited about it because it was purple and gold. That cover is the most gorgeous book cover ever created. <laughs> uh, seriously, I bought it for the cover because I, at that point, didn't remember a single thing that happened in the sequel and was really disappointed with the ending of Caraval. So there was really no reason for me to purchase it other than the fact that I love purple and the purple and gold cover was just phenomenal. Uh, but needless to say, I am also on hauling finale. I cannot justify having a book on my shelves just for the aesthetic. Uh, my bookshelves are not, like, organized by rainbow. They're organized by author. So not having any of the other books on my shelves to support that one, I just feel like it would be stupid to keep. Uh, someone else will enjoy it more than I will. They can take my lost money and go enjoy the book because I didn't even read it. <laughs> I hate that I didn't like this series. Uh, I loved the beginning. I thought it was headed on a really good track and then I just couldn't follow anymore. And I, I don't know if that's like a popular opinion on booktube. I honestly haven't even researched reviews for Finale, but I can tell you I did not like it. Uh, I didn't like the end of the series. I, I 
am not going to finish this series. So there you have it. I am unhauling this book and it does hurt a little. <laughs> The next book I'm unhauling is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Uh, this book I actually picked up at an airport. I was flying somewhere, I can't even remember where. I finished the book that I was reading at the time and so I went to like one of the little book kiosk things where you can buy books at airports. I picked this up thinking that it would be a good book. I've heard a lot about it. There was obviously a movie created about it and so I thought that I was gonna like it. I read probably 75% of the book and oh my gosh, <laughs> talk about not liking the characters. These characters drove me up a wall. Uh, I could not get into this book. I, like I said, I read 75% of it before my flight. I finished the flight and then promptly like put this book on my shelf to never look at it again because I did not like this book. I am unhauling it for that reason and this was a complete waste of money. I wish that I had bought you know, a book that I did like, but alas, such is life. Sometimes you think you're gonna like a book and you just don't. <laughs> so that was definitely the case with this. Um, again, it's, it's a movie. Clearly people really like this book. So hopefully someone will check this out of the library and really enjoy it, unlike me. The next book I have in this on haul is First Life by Gina Showalter. I read this entire series and I really liked uh, the first one first life. Uh, I liked the romance. I liked the characters. I was really interested. Uh, this book starts off in kind of an interesting setting in uh, an asylum and then moves forward to explore some really interesting life concepts and like the spirit world associated with it. So I did really like the concept of this book. I liked the characters. Um, I thought that the plot was interesting. However, as I read further into the series, um, I think I ended up DNFing the last book in the series, honestly. Uh, and <laughs> again, to my great pain, because I did, I liked this book. I, I liked, um, you know, I liked the spirit world. I liked the concepts that I was exploring. I, again, enjoyed the characters, but I just, it got to a point where the plot was moving so slowly and I just stopped caring. If a book doesn't grip me and, you know, keep hold through, like, actually perpetuating the plot then I just stop caring like even if the romance or the the relationships in the books are good if your plot's not moving I just can't <laughs> I can't continue reading so this was a no for me um well okay let me rephrase that this was a yes for me the books later on in the series were definitely a no for me so it's disappointing when you've got such a strong first novel in a series and then the series deteriorates from there. Uh, I, you know, I can handle like a filler book. There's been several like Sarah J Mass books that were fillers in the series, but the series, like the plot line of the series had so many different aspects to it that some of them were moving and so I could continue on with those books. In this case, it just didn't have enough avenues for me to really care what was going on, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm unhauling it, so there you have it. The next book in this unhaul is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Uh, I read this book. I enjoyed it. I started to read Scarlet. I could not get into the characters of Scarlet, and so I DNF'd the series. I actually own Cress as well. I'm DN or I'm unhauling Cress as well, uh, and Scarlet as well. So I thought I, I don't know the characters in cinder didn't come back into this series soon enough for me to really care about this series uh i would actually like to read renegades by marissa meyer because i did enjoy the writing style in this book and i think that i might enjoy renegades more than i did this so i'm gonna give that a try and hopefully enjoy it a lot more but the lunar chronicles is a series that i definitely DNF'd at book two um, and I don't plan on going back to them so uh, I am unhauling this book and I am unhauling the other two books that I have. The final book in this unhaul is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This is a well-loved book and series here on booktube. I read this book uh, because I saw a lot of people reviewing it on booktube and I enjoyed this book. I liked Rowan. Uh, I was really interested in his uh, story 
and I liked Scythe Goddard. I thought he was a really interesting villain. And so I read this, I read Thunderhead, and again with Thunderhead, I think that it just lost my interest. I finished it and I don't plan on continuing to read the toll. Uh, the, the plot just got a little bit convoluted, not even convoluted. It got, it got to a point where I just didn't think that it was worth perpetuating. It wasn't a plot line that really gripped me. I don't actually care what happens. Uh, I'm not going to read the toll. <laughs> and so I am unhauling Scythe. Although, again, I really liked Scythe. Scythe was a really interesting novel. Uh, I thought that it had a lot of really good characters. It had a very interesting plot. I like the concept of the Scythes. I think that, you know, were we to actually make the medical advances to make this society a reality, I think that that would be a really fascinating methodology for culling the population. Like, it, it was an interesting concept and I liked Scythe. I just didn't like the continuation of the series. I think that's a theme for this unhaul kind of unexpectedly because to be honest, I picked, chose these books at random. Uh, I went through my unhaul bin and I just picked picked out the first books that were on top. So, you know, I'm a little bit surprised that so many of these have like a similar reason for which I'm unhauling them. But I mean, it just goes to show you that if a series doesn't really continue forward and grip my attention, then I'm not going to continue with it. I have no problem DNFing. I have no problem not continuing on with books. If something's not interesting to me or if it's not entertaining me, then to me, it's not worth reading. Uh, I don't like reading things that, you know, either bother me or have like not a trigger because I'm not really easily triggered by anything, uh, but anything that's kind of just like frustrating about a plot or annoying about a character or like I, I don't like the character and the point isn't to not like the character, like the point is you're supposed to like the character. Like I'm okay with unlikable characters, I think those are honestly some of the best characters. I love villains. I am a hardcore villain person. If there's a villain to like in a series, I will love them. <laughs> so I like the unlikable characters, uh, but if a character that I am supposed to like is unlikable, then I, I just, I don't care. <laughs> and I know that sounds terrible to say as like a reader and someone who enjoys books, but a lot of times I find that I, I will get to a later book in a series and I will just stop caring. So a good series to me is one that makes me care about those characters. It makes me care what's going on. It makes me want to read to know what happens. <laughs> like I have to know what happens. So that to me is the marks of a good book. Uh, if you stuck with me this long, I would really appreciate it if you would leave me a comment down below and let me know. Uh, I'm very curious about that. And let me know what your thoughts are on any of the books that I'm unhauling. Uh, do you think that they're worth a second chance? Do you think that my opinions are valid? Uh, let me know. And let me know down below in the comments any books that you think that I should pick up based on my negative reviews on these books or positive reviews because they weren't all negative. Finally, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video for me and if you would subscribe to my channel. I post art and booktube videos every Tuesday and occasionally on Friday, so I would really appreciate to have you as part of my family, my YouTube family, <laughs> and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.